Hello, thank you so much for joining us. Not sure how long himself will stay here, but he's here. Of course, as soon as I've got a black top on, he will come and I will end up covered in white fur. If that's the worst thing that happens, then the day is a good one. <sighs> I want to talk a little bit about a saying that variety is the spice of life. In fact, in many cases, it's a lot more than the spice in life. But life actually relies on variety. Certainly when it comes to food and eating, a nourishing, balanced diet requires that variation. Though sadly for, for far too many in this world of ours, it's not an option. Their only option is whatever they can grow in their drought field, drought ridden fields. That's okay, yes. In their drought ridden fields or whatever food staples are delivered by caring nations, caring supporters. And even if you have what you think is a good diet and you are able to buy the different food groups, we need that variety. We need it to maintain a, a healthy life. And even within the food groups, the fruit and the vegetables, we need to vary those. We need to, as we say, eat the rainbow because each of those fruits and veg with different colours, they contain different nutrients, nutrients that are essential for our health and well-being. So variety is life. And when we look at the whole, oh, sorry, Mishka, the whole of the world, Variety in the form of biodiversity, it's essential. From the very top of the food chains with the lions, the tigers, what have you, all the way down to the, the birds, the bees, the insects they all have their role to play. And if one of the big groups is diminished, then it affects the whole of the rest. And oh, I get so cross. I, I, I understand if people kill animals for food, but not for trophies really, really makes me very angry. But if the top predators are eliminated, then others will become dominant and that will throw the smaller ones, the ones lower down the chain. And in many ways, the ones at the bottom of the chain, they are really even more important, the, the bees for pollinating the foods that we eat, the fruits and the, the vegetables. And even smaller, though it's difficult to place them, but certainly the, the microbes, the fungi, all sorts of living beings have their place within the biodiversity of this planet. And with the climate change, 
that biodiversity is being altered because fish have been seen around the coast of England that have never been there before. They are more warm water fish. Mind you, the water around England still doesn't feel warm. Not that I've paddled in it for a long time. Um, so it's that balance. And the permafrost in Siberia, that has been holding, trapped for many, many years. Microbes that throughout the world have died out. What happens? Are they able to survive thawing out? I don't know. I've not looked into it recently. Um, and if so, what happens? We all know what happens when we get a pandemic and how many people are lost, how many people are made ill. But having moved on to people, what about neurodiversity? And yes, we can have people who are neurodivergent because of an accident, that their, their brain is affected and they become able to only function in different ways, not the whole them that they used to be, but rather specifically diagnosed, not assumed, things like dyspraxia, dyslexia, ADD, um, Asperger's, Downs, all of these neurodivergent conditions and I worked with a lot of children who had these conditions and trying to get teachers in the classroom. I'm hoping that it has improved now. It's been quite a while since I've been in a classroom, but trying to get teachers to accept that these children had a lot to give and that they needed to adjust the way they taught to fit the way the child learns. And I've had stand-up arguments with more than one member of staff in the schools I worked in um, about this. But these people have so many things to offer to offer to this world of ours, if we give them access. Maybe somebody has, um, needs wheelchair access. It has improved, but I don't know to what extent. But certainly some of these people think in different ways to us. They can problem solve so much better than us they can focus so much more easily on IT than we can. They have so many strengths. And by writing them off as, uh, no, we need to stop doing things like that and accept these people, not as being, having a disability but as being differently abled and differently abled in positive ways. So it's important. And I, I remember when I used to carry out assessments for these children, before I started doing any of the assessments, I would always say, okay, tell me what you're good at. Oh, right. And they have lots of strengths, but within a conforming education system, those strengths are often not recognized, but they are there. And we as a world need to acknowledge this, that neurodiversity, we are all divergent along that line as well. 
we are. Nobody's the same as somebody else. So yes, we might look physically, oh no. I, I did say I'm going to be covered in white fur. Yes, and my knee, oh dear me. Okay, so I am now a very hairy chested female. So, yeah, sorry, that's laughable, but we need to acknowledge these people who may seem different, that they are different in a good way, not in a negative way. On that note, I shall go and <laughs> scrape off this white fur. I haven't brushed him this morning, so it's my own fault. Thank you for joining me. And think about that neurodiversity and biodiversity. Help those bees, those insects in your garden. Don't pull up all of the weeds, especially things like dandelions at the beginning of the year when there aren't many flowers around. They are great to help the insects thriving. And as we are losing great expanses of the uh, forests that are the lungs of the world, then we need to look carefully about just what is happening, though that's something that is probably beyond our doing anything. But certainly I've planted trees in my garden and I hope that that helps a bit. I've done my bit, I've done my best. So on that note, I shall say thank you and I will go and relieve myself of the fur. This fur is so soft and fine, it floats around. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye for now. And if you are one of those people who feels put down. Don't. You're worth more than that. Hold your chin up, shoulders back, and show people what you're worth. Bye for now. Take care. Bye.